What a gorgeous day. So Ellie and I, and I didn't realise we're both in stripes, okay? I definitely didn't plan that, but it just so happens to be what's happened today. Where's my gorgeous belly? You say hello? Yeah, it's you. Just heading out for a little morning day. Goes at nursery. Daddy dropped him. Is there something on my lens? Goes at nursery. We've got to head into town to just pop to Marks and Spencer because I ordered some romper suits for summer for Elliot because we had that really hot weather and then realised of course I mean we do have hot weather clothes for him but romper suits are so good especially to send him to nursery in when it's really hot because it's just like an all-in-one and just very easy breezy you know so that's what we're gonna do and we might go and get a little snack mummy have a little coffee just have a nice little morning I never really get to do this I'm always bloody working so I just thought whilst there's the opportunity let me and my little belly have a little morning date and on that note of like not doing anything with your second child well I I would both of them didn't take a proper maternity leave because I work for myself and so I just never and Gabe was COVID also but I've just never got into the like soft play play group swing obviously Gabe was different I did try play groups with Gabe actually but it just didn't go, didn't go great so it's not something I've ever got in the swing of <laughs> at least just watching hello gorgeous <laughs> you're smiling who's that happy for you do a big smile oh gorgeous <laughs> big smile? where's your big smile e cheese <laughs> now that Elliot's a bit older I definitely want to try now to commit to on one of the days that he's at home which at the moment is Monday Tuesday Friday going to a soft play or something because I actually think unlike Gabe that wasn't really bothered I actually think Eddie would really enjoy it now and as he goes all guns blazing towards two I think that's what he needs to be doing Right, bells. We've got it. Ready. There we go. It's a bit big. What do you think? Is it a bit? <laughs> Is it a bit big for you, Ellie? We've come into Megan's for a little croissant and a nice coffee. I'll eat this bit. Oh, look at this mane. I've just had a shower, which was absolutely glorious because to be honest, could I tell you the last time I showered? No, I couldn't. Mainzie's he's got back. He, he's here. He was uh, here this morning. He went to the dentist. Now he's back. So he put Elliot down for a nap while I had a shower. Now I'm going to make us some lunch. Oh, the washing machine. I've got something delivered that I ordered for the kids, which isn't very exciting, but if you're a parent, you might like, you might appreciate this. And this is what we got in town, these more bibs. And from m &S, which is what, why we have to go into town, but these romper suits are the ones I was talking about. So, so good for summer because you just, they've got poppers at the legs and you just put it over their head and in they go. It's like a double pack. So there's a dark navy stripe, then a white and blue stripe. <laughs> it's only because m s is one of those places where the boy selection, if you have anything other than stripes, is basically fucking dinosaurs or tractors. It's not a very dinosaur or tractor household. This is another really good one for maybe when it's a bit chillier, just a little short sleeve. And then I also ordered, basically we're having a sale. So I bought a few bits from Kidley. This is the first one. And these are a bit better than these Eco Rascals ones because you can put them in the dishwasher, but also the silicone like suction thing is already attached. This you have to take it off and reattach it. So this is just, this you don't have to worry. So I've got this color, this lovely green color. I you know why I ended up getting a bowl because we don't really need a bowl, but I just thought it was really nice. So I ended up getting a bowl as well. And it came with a spoon. We don't really need this spoon. We just use teaspoons, like proper metal spoons, or I've got um, like kiddie spoons, but with metal ends. So that's my new bits. Um, <laughs> oh, good evening. We are here in the kitchen. And now I'm gonna cook dinner. And I'm really pleased to say that this portion of the video is sponsored by HelloFresh. An evening like tonight, it's exactly what I need. I've been working so much the last two weeks and then working this evening, it's about half eight now. And I just wanna get something quick and healthy and delicious on the table. Firstly, thank you so much HelloFresh for working with me on this and making my life so much easier. If you haven't heard of HelloFresh before, it's a recipe box service that gets delivered to your house and just takes the pain out of meal planning, especially if you're a family, especially if you're busy. Everything is delivered 
all perfectly portioned, exactly what you need, so you're ready to go. So now I'm gonna cook a whole meal, but I just don't feel like I'm doing that because everything's there. I just follow the instructions, chuck it in the pan, and away we go. Super convenient, you get it delivered to your door. You just go online, pick your recipes for the week, and you don't have to think about anything else. You can pause it so you don't have to have it every week if you're going on holiday or anything like that. You know that you're gonna be eating healthy, balanced meals. The ingredients is really great quality. The meat is amazing. I absolutely love HelloFresh. Like I, I can't, I can't sing its praises enough, which is why I'm working with them again because they just make my life so much easier. So I have my recipe cards here of what I picked, and it's really great at the moment because they've got recipes for the sunny weather. Obviously, it's June. We're going. I mean, we've had some sunshine. It's been a bit hit and miss, but we're going into summer, so there's new recipes. So it's really great to just get some new ideas for summer food and just getting ideas in general. I always really struggle to come up with new things for dinner. And I order the same things in our weekly shop. I do the same rotation of meals. But with HelloFresh, there's so many great options. You can pick them by your lifestyle. So if you are calorie counting or you're watching what you're eating, you can pick by that. If you're a family, if you need something quick, there's loads of different categories to pick from. I have picked, oh, and the first recipe is from the super quick range. Peanut goji jong beef stir fry, tandoori chicken masala curry, Central American style chicken rice bowl. That looks delicious. That is a great summer dish. But we're actually gonna have the beef stir fry tonight. On the cards, not only does it have a picture of what the food looks like, which I love, it tells you how long it's gonna take. This is 15 minutes, ideal. All of your ingredients, and then the instructions are so easy to follow. There's pictures, and then there's nutritional values here and other kind of bits of information. Sometimes you need a bit of water, things like that, so it's got all the measurements. And each recipe card has a number. You get the meat and everything delivered in like a cold bag that you put straight in the fridge. You then have your bag of extra ingredients that don't necessarily need to go in the fridge, and it's numbered. So you just grab this, grab the meat, and away you go. Let's get cooking and get this on the table because I'm starving. Okay, so I've just added in the last ingredient, which is this coleslaw. And, well, it's like slaw. There's no sauce on it, it's just like the shredded veg. All I've had to do, whilst the rice is still boiling, is cook the minced beef, add the mushrooms, add the sauce and the slaw, and just leave it to cook. Bring it to the boil and I'll leave it to simmer. It honestly took like not even 10 minutes to make the bulk of it. And the rice isn't done yet. That was on for 12 minutes. But there we go. Dinner is served. Also, one thing, the portion sizes are really good. Um, I only order for two people. That's a pretty hefty portion size for two. I could probably, because I obviously live with a boy, it's good, but I feel like if I lived with like two other girls, I could probably get three meals, maybe even four. If I was just doing it for myself, I could get lunches out of this as well. Well, that was delicious. Um, sorry, I've just got my glasses on actually because my eyes were hurting, so I've just put them on. But yes, that was so delicious obviously you know I've got something for you I've got a little discount code with HelloFresh if you're interested in trying it if you've yet to sign up if you haven't tried it if you've been umming and ahhing this is your sign to do it so I'm going to write the code here I'm going to pop it in the description along with a link of how to do it and I'm going to place a QR code here if you use my code you'll get 60% off your first box and then 20% off your boxes for the next two months so whether you do it every week, whether you do it every two weeks, it's 20% off for two months. And you will get free desserts for life. And they do some delicious desserts. They do the goo cheesecakes. They've always got yummy things to choose from. You'll get free ones for life on top of your order, which is, I mean, who can say no to that? As I've mentioned, if you're busy, if you just need some inspiration going into the summer, for some yummy food to make. If you've got kids and you're sick of trying to decide what to eat every night, give HelloFresh a try because it is so, so good to just not even have to worry about anything. Everything's perfectly portioned. The ingredients are all there. They taste great. It's good quality food. It's one of the best things you can do for yourself if you're busy and food and preparing food is like the bane of your life. Honestly, treat yourself, treat yourself. Obviously a big thank you to HelloFresh for working with me on this and yeah. Enjoy. Good morning, it's Wednesday. It's been a couple of days since I last spoke to you and I'm actually just enjoying a very rare weekday morning. Well, just a very rare morning, completely alone in the house. Um, it's not even nine o'clock yet, I don't think. I think it's almost, almost nine. But I usually like to drop the kids to 
childcare but also I usually drop them because I usually am them going off to work I sometimes do clients in the morning or I'll be like oh I need to watch waitress I need to pop and do this I need to pop and do this go to Pilates whatever so I generally drop the kids in the morning unless there's a reason not to because if Hainsey's working he's usually going off somewhere or he's working from home that's how that works and I just like to drop but I am going into London this morning and so Hainsey's taking the kids so that I can get ready and then go off because I am going to Sally's to film some content for TikTok. And then I didn't realise Hainsley uh, would be around to pick the kids up this afternoon. So he said he'll pick the kids up. So I've kind of got, if I want, a whole day in London if I want it. Meeting the team at 11 and then shooting what I need to shoot. And then I'm wondering what to do. I'm wondering if maybe I should take myself for lunch. I don't know when I have these last minute like oh I can, I'm in London and I can like do stuff I'm I then I'm like what do I want to do but when I'm not I don't have the opportunity to go to London I'm thinking oh, I want to do this 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 and this and I get there and I'm like oh I just want to come home actually I'm really tired I don't know if that's because I'm very rarely in London so the idea of it is better than actually when I'm actually there and I feel like this is too busy anyway look can we just take a moment for my teeth I don't have any retainers in at the moment because I'm just about to brush my teeth but look at those bottom teeth I can't, I can't believe how straight they are. I can't believe it. Everyone I spoke to that has done Invisalign says it's the best thing they've ever done. And it honestly, honestly is. I've got five trays left at the moment. And then we are going to have to do more trays. I don't know how many, but we will do a few more after. And then I'm having a fixed brace and then we're doing whitening. I've actually got whitening to start now if I want to. But it can make your teeth a bit sensitive. So they said like, whatever you want to do. Anyway, I'm just going to um, wash my face and get myself sorted and put makeup on to look somewhat presentable. So I thought I'd just chat through a few skincare bits. I feel like my skin has just been kind of the best it's ever been recently. I actually think it is down to the retinol I'm using. I've mentioned, I don't know actually if I've mentioned this on here. I had my Botox lady prescribe a retinol for me because I wanted a prescription one. I tried a Bargy, and if you remember, I burnt my face off with that one. And I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't hugely impressed with it. It takes a while to see any kind of result in terms of like your skin looking better. And um, it's more like a long-term thing. So in like 20 years, I'll be like, thank God I use retinol. He prescribed me the Skin Better Science Alpha Ret Overnight Cream. There's an intense version of this, a normal one. I've got the normal one. It's basically a gentle retinol. There's other things in it like niacinamide. So it's really soothing. So I feel like you can't overuse this in the same way that you could another retinol. And I think this has transformed my skin. I think this is the reason it's looking as good as it has been looking to me. Um, and I've been using this every other night. It's so good. And then the every other night that I'm not using retinol, I've gone back to an Old Faithful, which is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Like this is such a good serum. I used it years ago and was always really impressed with it. And I feel like when you're using something like a retinol and you use hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, I feel like it can be difficult to think what else can I use at night when I'm not using retinol or what can I use with my retinol? Because there is things like niacinamide, like, but I don't know, it's hard to sometimes divvy out all these things of what you need. And I just feel like advanced night repair is everything. So on the nights I'm not using retinol, I'll use this. And I feel like, again, that's really made a difference. Like it's honestly, it's such a good serum. It's an oldie, but a goodie. It's just a great go-to for anti-aging specifically. If you're like 30s thinking, what can I use? This is great for night. And then I've got two new cleansers. I usually love the Oskia Renaissance cleanser. Usually it's a morning cleanse and then the, and then the LMS cleansing balm in the evening. But I switched it up. I had a voucher from Look Fantastic and I wanted to try the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Ultimate Cleanse. So I've been using this at night as my balm cleanser. And then I got sent this from Galane and it's just a foaming cleanser. So I've been using this in the morning. And again, I think this has really, really helped. Both of these, I think, are really great cleansers. This is gorgeous, the Sarah Chapman one. Like... I feel like it's nicer than LMS. It's not as thick as LMS, but it's still very much a balm. Gorgeous cleanser. And this I really love. I like a firming cleanser. Um, it's good for my skin type. And Galanay is like a pro... Is it probiotic, would you say? No. Microbiome skincare. So kind of probiotic-y, good bacteria for your skin type thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, but everything I've used from Galanay I really like. And so this is my morning cleanse. I'm not using this this morning. I only use that at night. And then the vitamin C I use is the Medicate Vitamin C from Rulic. And the two moisturisers 
I use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream as my day moisturiser. I absolutely love it. And then I've been using the Bioderma SPF 50 for my SPF. And then at night, after retinol and just every night, the Medicaid um, Advanced Light Restore, incredible moisturiser. It's formulated to work with retinol, um, but it's just a really, really great uh, night cream. Again, if you're in that space of life where you're addressing anti-aging. I have been... I don't think I need to do an anti-inflammatory diet, but I oh, I bloat so badly. I don't know if this is age, but I've never struggled with bloating and discomfort like I have done recently. I recently bought some bloat like supplements because it's been that bad to eat after, to have after meals like digestive enzymes. I'll talk more about it probably tomorrow at this point. I'll have time to do that, but yeah. Um, I've just put a little bit of makeup on, well, quite a lot of makeup on. <laughs> make myself look presentable tie my hair back because it's raining today it's a rubbish day and then i'm just casual because i'm i'm filming but like in the way that i film for tiktok so i'm not on camera or anything but i have this jumper from arquette and then just some sweaty betty leggings i'm actually going to call an uber to take me to the station because it's raining and i don't really want to walk to get the bus i've just popped some perfume on actually i don't know why i'm telling you all this why not um this one from commodity it's called book um i was actually sent this but if you've been with me for years you may remember when i went on a work trip to i think it was las vegas i went to sephora obviously and is this blurry smelt this and felt like it smelled similar to santal by la labo and bought the like handbag travel spray and I really liked it and then they contacted me a few months ago and offered to send me um well they sent me like a discovery set so I could smell all the scents and then offered to send me one that I liked and I still love book um I feel like now it isn't actually a dupe for the Labo Santal and when I say dupe like this is still quite expensive um it's not exactly like Santal but it's that kind of scent that kind of bitterness if you know what I mean so anyway, I've decided to wear that today. Um, okay, let's go. Also, just quickly, I recently got this makeup bag from Space NK, and it's such a good, you can get smaller ones, but it's so good for putting your makeup in to take with you for the day, just to pop in your bag. And also, um, I've just thought when I was talking about that skincare, um, I've mentioned it before, but just to mention again, I have a Look Fantastic code. You can get 20% off. Medicaid is on Look Fantastic and the Sarah Chapman cleansers on there. I think Galanay might be on there, but anyway, just to let you know, I always have a Look Fantastic code. So if you want to get yourself some new skincare or even makeup or hair care or anything, I'll pop the code below. Okay, let's go. Oh, fancy seeing you here. I obviously just set this camera up and then just walk back in as if I was walking back in from town because I actually didn't take you to London with me. It's quite dark in here. So I actually didn't end up filming anything for you uh, when I went into London because it was absolutely pissing with rain. Went to Sally's, did what I needed to do. The rain was really bad and I was thinking what should I do? Should I go to Cos? Should I stay in town? Should I do whatever? Actually what I'd like to do is go home, eat some lunch and just chill out with no one at home and take advantage of the fact that no one's at home. So that's what I'm doing and I went and got a little prepped chef's chicken salad which I actually think I was eating in the last vlog when I say I'm addicted. I need to drink some water. I grabbed a bottle of water this morning. Obviously, haven't even opened it. I'm so dehydrated and I've got a bit of a headache. Just thought I mentioned earlier, didn't I, that I was suffering with a bit of bloatage and I've been taking a supplement for it that I think has helped. I think I've gone through my supplements with you before, but I'll just briefly go through them again because I'm just going to take them. I'm not great at taking these. I'm trying to be better. I'm great at doing my smoothie, my protein collagen smoothie. Smoothie. in the mornings i'm not great at remembering to take my supplements so i did also order one of these supplement thingies to put them in but i've realized i think i need to get some kind of labeling system because if i put all of them in these respective depart compartments i'm not going to remember what's what i think i probably should just get one that's like weekday labeled but to be honest they are not as um cute looking as these ones are so it's purely aesthetic but I think functionality wise I should probably just get a weekly one all of my daily ones into that but anyway the newest one and the one for bloat is this it's called array 
the brand and this is their bloat complex i got it on this website called health i hate that name but it's health but with an f and they do loads of different this brand does loads of different supplements but this is specifically the bloat one the reason i went for this was because i follow this girl on tiktok called izzy utterson i want to say her name is and she's got this whole glow up thing when she's very young <laughs> so just with like eating healthy and exercise she looks amazing but shows her transformation and she basically was slightly heavier quite bloated and now she's all like you know snatched and she talks about other things to do with mindset it's not just like addressing what's going into your body but she does talk about that a lot and it's really helpful so she talks a lot about like drinking enough water and protein and the importance of all of those things that we already know but she mentions dandelion tablets and dandelion tea to help with bloating because a lot of the puffiness we might have is to do with water retention and dandelion tea or capsules are really good for bloating and I hadn't heard of that before so I thought well let's look into dandelion tea or a dandelion tablet because I thought I'm not going to drink dandelion tea it's something I can just take that I don't have to remember to make and drink every day so on my hunt for dandelion tablets this came up and it's got dandelion in it but a, a load of other stuff um, just for the digestive system um, because it's got ginger oh wait, dandelion root lemon balm peppermint leaf and then slippery elm in a bark extract i don't really know what that is but i'm sure it contributes to overall digestive goodness I take two of these usually at the end of the day so after dinner because it says to take i don't really i'm not 100 percent clear on how much of this to take because it says take two after eating but i think surely you don't take two after you've eaten everything but they are kind of classed as digestive enzymes which i think you do take after like a big meal but i generally tend to take these at night time after i've had dinner and i feel like they've helped i felt a lot less uncomfortable this week than i have done for weeks i'm also taking l-glutamine the wild nutrition daily multi-nutrient and then also vitamin d and i actually did also order magnesium and just for reference, in case you haven't seen our vlog, this is the Vida Glow collagen I'm talking about. I buy it in these little separate sachets. Um, it's one serving and I pop it in my smoothie when I make it in the morning. Um, and it's literally protein, a banana, one of these sachets and some milk. I am doing something that I haven't done for absolutely ages. I just filmed an outfit for Instagram that I haven't done for ages and um, have been putting together some stuff to film for a TikTok to go live tonight. And I am sitting in bed with a cup of tea, a chocolate digestive, and I'm watching the TV, but I'm watching the hills. I have not done that, I feel like, since I was a student. No, I, I have done it. Since before having kids, for sure. Just sitting in bed in the middle of the afternoon, watching the hills. I mean, what's better than that? Honestly, nothing. We're going to Pilates this morning. I actually went on, what day were we on Friday? I went on Tuesday and that was wonderful. And then I was like, I wanna go again this week. So I'm here this morning. Um, I'm already thrown off about where we are in the week because it's half term next week and Gabe is on an inset day today. So it's Friday today, but he's off. I just feel like that's already thrown me off. I was thinking like, is it Saturday today? And it's not, it's Friday. Oh, I last spoke to you going to Pilates and then today was just chaos. I mean, both the boys are at home and it's just like, just not much happening and there's just not really time to vlog. It's gonna tidy up the kitchen and do all the washing up and stuff. There isn't actually that much washing up to do. And then I think, I'm wondering what to do for my dinner. Like, can I be bothered to make something or shall I order something? And the best olives ever. These are the pimento stuffed olives and manchega wondering whether to just make a salad but I don't even know if I can be bothered to do that do you know what I mean I should just make something from the food that we have in the house because we have food it's so wasteful for me to order in but I feel like I'm probably going to order in <laughs> 